Morning YouTube. Sometimes I watch people's YouTube videos and I think, um, has that person actually used that? Or have they just built it and shown everyone else and then I've never really tested it? So, um, coming off that, I just want to show you something. We just got back from Trip Around Australia and um, I want to show you this little project here, which is my, I call it the roof net. And um, it just it just comes off the grab handles, as you can see. And we have the kids in the back, obviously, and um, it's really useful to, for them to put their clothes bags or their sleeping bags, pillows, and just just light, soft stuff, so that obviously if you have a crash, you don't want something heavy or anything flying around in the cab. But um, yeah, light stuff goes up here, and it's. It's sweet. It's one of the best things. Um, sometimes I put the fishing rods up here, and I'll just I'll just show you something else. So across the front of the, in between the two grab handles at the sorry at the front of the car, we've got a little hat rack, um, which um, sometimes I wear my Akubra, and I just pop it in there so I don't have to wear it while I'm driving. Uh, but what I do is I run the fishing rods through from the back and they just rest on here and it doesn't in any way affect anyone in the car. It's not in their face or and it's fairly secured. The reel, the reel, sorry, pop through here and just sort of stop it from moving around. The roof net is uh, tested and proven. I'll show you how to make one. All you're going to need is uh, this stuff, polyester webbing. That's the size if you want to get off eBay, otherwise you can get it at Bunnings or your local hardware shop. Um, the best size for the Pajero is uh, cut a piece 1.6 meters long. And um, all you do is just get a gas burner like this. I've already done it on this piece. But you pretty much just cut it and then just quickly run the gas thing side to side on it. And um, that'll just burn the edge off so that it doesn't fray. And you need to do that for any future pieces that you cut, pretty much. So um, the actual webbing is going to be. Um, so I've left I've left 40 centimeters on the end for a strap that's going to go around the grab handle. So we're pretty much only going to do the webbing from 40 centimeters through to 1.2 meters. The rest of it is just the straps that are going to secure it to the roof as you'll see later on. These pieces here, they're going to be the bits that go around the grab handles in the back of the car uh, using a special buckle that I'll show you later. They're 1.6 metres long, just the two end bits. So that bit there, this bit here. Um, these bits here, they're 75 centimetres long, so you need six of them. And these bits that go across are 80 centimetres. So that, um, and you need five of them. So one, two, three, four, five. And um, pretty much gonna sew all these corners together with a sewing machine. I don't know how to use a sewing machine, but can't be brain surgery. Um, I'm pretty much wanna use uh, like a stitch like that, like a, like a cross, I don't know, is that called a cross stitch? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna run that, so, cause I've seen that on seat belts and that's top pretty strong. So um, instead of doing a cross, I'm pretty much just stitching around the edge and then doing one line through the middle like that. Pretty much just because um, it's pretty time consuming and it's using a lot of thread, which means I have to keep um, filling back up this thing here, which I'm told is called a bobbin. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's pretty much um, just go around the edge and then run one through the middle. So. Pretty much just go to the edge like that. Run it through. Lift this bad boy up. Rotate it. It's 
not. It's pretty hard doing this one handed actually. Just lift this reposition. See it, it pretty much comes out sort of looking like a square with a line through it, which is super strong. I've um, actually done a bit of muck around with them. Um, I've done this whole row so far and it come out pretty strong. So I'll keep going. There is 42 intersections like that. So a little bit fiddly, but it'll be good in the end. So um, this is pretty much the finished product. So... On the ends, I just did a square with a line through it. I thought that was to offer a bit more strength, not, not that anything real heavy is going to be up there. Uh, and in the middle, I just did like that with two lines with a um, line runner between them as well. So uh, to adjust them, I just bought these webbing strap adjusters from Bunnings as well. So there are f uh, the webbing's 50 millimeters, and um, obviously so are these. Um, so um, I made that video a year ago, the making of this net, and I really wanted to test it before I um, put it out. But anyway, we've been around Australia. The roof net has been awesome. We've got stuff you know, in the back of the car packed up to here. Just having that little bit of roof space, somewhere to throw things. Even uh, when you're just dealing with stuff down here, um, just being able to move stuff out the way and just chuck it up there for a minute while you're doing stuff down the bottom, really handy. And um, also, uh, when I did throw a, a bit of gear up here, it did start to sag a little bit, so I just used a strap um, to tighten it up. Uh, the, a long-term solution to that would be adjusting the size of the net to, to suit your needs. Um, I think the net could actually be smaller a little bit. Um, that way, you could really tighten the straps up on the grab handles and everything would be nice and tight for whatever your, your um, gear you're throwing up there. Anyway, thanks for watching and please subscribe.